My name is Chris McCauley. I am 54 years old. I live in Barrie, Ontario. Uh, this is my wife, Maria, and uh, she's going to help me with uh, delivering my message today. I'm a person living with ALS. If I had to describe the disease, the first words that would come to mind are isolation, dependence, hypervigilance, fear, terror, anxiety, anger, resentment, helplessness, and trapped. I am a former professional athlete, a healthy professional in social work, with a master's degree, a husband, and a stepfather. In late 2013, my body began to betray me. Gradually, I lost my ability to use my arms, my ability to walk, my ability to hold up my head, and my ability to breathe on my own. Currently, I am completely dependent on others. To begin my day, I require a mechanical lift and two caregivers to move me and my BiPAP machine into my wheelchair. The same effort is required to shower and to use the bathroom. The BiPAP machine keeps me alive by pushing air in and out of my lungs 24 hours a day. It makes me feel extremely vulnerable. I must remain constantly vigilant because I have had two near-death experiences and a variety of close calls from respiratory distress and equipment failure. In every other way, I am healthy, except that I am losing motor neurons. I accept that my disease has a terminal prognosis with no effective treatments and no cure, but I believe there are things I can do to make a difference. As the ALS ambassador for Project Mine, I see my involvement in Project Mine as a way to give back and thank my family, friends, and community, the many people who have helped with my care. Project Mine is also a way for me to express my gratitude and pay it forward by helping others who will face an ALS diagnosis in the future. I am very excited about Project Mine. It will provide information about the disease that is now possible because of advances in biotechnology and computational computing power. Sequencing the human genome of people with and without ALS on an international scale will increase understanding of the disease. The generation of new knowledge will be guaranteed and its application will produce targeted therapies and potentially a cure. I believe strongly in the value of research and look to ALS Canada as a trusted organization that has rigor in identifying and supporting initiatives with scientific merit. Project Mind is a pioneering scientific is pioneering scientific research, which will leave a Canadian legacy of leadership and give Canadians like me the chance to make a difference. Project Mind is worthy of funding and has the potential to change many people's lives worldwide by tooling researchers with a genetic map and a compass that will mark the trail that leads us to tangible breakthroughs in ALS research.